Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of Tragedy of the Sith's Revenge by Ian Dersha. So this is Star Wars Part of the Third. These are, um, Dersha does, like, Shakespearean style plays of the Star Wars movies. So this is the one based on, what was it, the Sith's Revenge. Um, I'm going to read you the blurb, then we're going to go through and check out some of my tabs. And then I'll share my overall thoughts and rating at the end. Dane reads... To thine own Sith be true. Lend us your ears and comlinks for a Shakespearean retelling of Star Wars Episode 3. A once heroic knight becomes the darkest of villains. The Jedi suffer slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. The Republic falls, an empire rises, and so begins the long wait for a new hope. Something is rotten in the state of Coruscant. Actually, it says Corsicant. That's a typo. Don't miss this final chapter in the Star Wars prequel trilogy, presented Shakespeare's style with masterful meter, stirring soliloquies, and intricate Elizabethan illustrations. It's a perfect melding of classic literature and epic pop culture. Can't believe there's a typo in the blurb. So uh, one of Obi Obi-Wan's lines, he has the classic movie line, I have a bad feeling about this. So he says, I have a feeling bad about this moment. And I just like this little exchange between Obi-Wan and Anakin. So Obi-Wan says, what's this, mine enemy? Oh, Anakin, tis well to see thee. Thou art not some foe. I shall put my blue-lighted friend away. Indeed, good master, stow your lightsaber, lest one is injured by this friend of yours. Do not, when you are scared, turn on your friend. And uh, Yoda, he speaks in haiku, um, uh, but he just has this nice little bit of dialogue here. He says, death, natural is, to all who have life it comes. Stop it, thou canst not. Instead, be merry. Rejoice with those transforming into the broad force. Uh, another great line here from Obi-Wan, he says, Your bodyguards should guard their bodies. Ha! They are but chaff to me, a Jedi Knight. So one of the cool things in this, uh, when Palpatine becomes Darth Sidious, and when Anakin becomes Vader, their names uh, change in like the stage directions as well, which I thought was very cool. And Obi-Wan warns Anakin when they're fighting. He says, Do not attempt the jump. This I warn thee. Thou shalt not have the legs to make the leap. Which is a nice little, you know, pun because then he obviously loses his legs. And um, Padme, when she gives birth to Luke, she says, He shall be Luke and walk among the skies. Which is a nice little nod to his name. And then right at the end, uh, basically the action freezes and Yoda has a little soliloquy. And what's interesting here is that he breaks the, um, he was speaking only in haiku. And he, he breaks that and starts to speak in like rhyming couplet. Are they couplets? Not couplets. Well, I guess they... In rhyming quatrains, I believe. He says, My friends, tis the end, as befits a noble queen. Regal as the morn, lo, here's Padme all serene. On a coffin born, whilst the people of Naboo, each a weeping make, watching Padme good and true. Resting there to wake on a ship above in space. There Darth Vader stands, empires rise, he doth embrace. This with robot hands, here doth stand the Emperor, eyeing his new plan, pain the Death Star shall confer. Racking Alderaan, ere that time Organa flies, quickly home doth go under care of tender eyes, he shall lay her know. Later, er, on Tatooine, sojourns Obi-Wan, fresh wee Luke is on the scene, oh, the father's son. Riding here, he appears, stranger now soon friend, Owen and Baru on fears, one small child shall tend. There may Luke rest many years, here friends, tis the end. So yeah, William Shakespeare's Tragedy of the Sith's Revenge by Ian Dersha. I mean, it's no secret that I enjoy these books. I like Star Wars and I like Shakespeare. So the two of them coming together, all good. I gave this one probably a pretty strong 3.5 out of 5. And uh, now that only leaves me, I think, episodes 8 and 9 to read in this, in this format. Which I've only ever seen those once anyway. Uh, and then I'm going to move on to Much Ado About Mean Girls and Get Thee Back to the Future. So there we have it, that's what I made of Tragedy of the Sith's Revenge by Ian Dersha. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read this book and if so, what you thought of it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.